I'm just a burnt out middle school math teacher that has always felt like an outsider in this world. I was looking forward to a nice vacation connecting with my guildmates and excited to attend my first Comic Con on Deer Isle. Yet, fate took an unexpected turn, thrusting me into the chaos of a world gone mad. Amidst the relentless threat and the brutal decree of survival, I am confronted with the harsh reality, adapt or perish. All right, welcome. This is the story of Ollie. This is our main character, Oliver. And this series is gonna be quite different than what we've done before. We are on Deer Island. This is a heavily populated server where there's lots of players. So Oliver's mission is to get better at PVP and stay alive. We are most likely going to be treating this very much like Groundhog Day because I don't know that we'll be able to survive for very long uh, playing on a highly populated server with an unskilled, oh my gosh, two motorcycle helmets. Unskilled Oliver here. But we're going to do our best. We found one little cabin here and I do not know the map of Deer Island very well. I know that it's really large. So there's plenty of places to go, even though it's heavy, heavily populated server, it is pretty, pretty big. We also need to work, which I need your help with, working on some of uh, Oliver's backstory here. We know that he came to Deer Island to go to a Comic-Con because he is the guild master of his guild. He wants to go on vacation. All he wanted was a little vacation on Deer Island. And there is military tent. Is this a good place for someone that only has a knife and a motorcycle helmet to go? So help me out. Help me out in the comments there. Uh, if Oliver is on vacation to be a guild master, to meet up with his guildies, what what is he a guild? What game is he a guild master of? What game does he play? What is your suggestion? Is it uh, War of Warcraft? Is it, what's, the, what's the other game where you're a guild master? Diablo, Dungeons and Dragons? I don't know. There is a military zombie right there. I just know I see tents here. And usually you see tents and that's a good thing to get military loot, right? But I don't know the area. I see two zombies there. Let's see if we can just get in and out of this tent. Try to survive. We came on it pretty quick. Well, we got a smoke grenade. Don't tell me I came all the way over here and got a smoke grenade. Okay, there's a tent over there. There's another one over there, but there's two zombies that way. Oh, Ollie, what do you do? Ollie is definitely not meant for a post-apocalypse world. This is definitely not what he's meant for. He's supposed to be back in a hotel with clean sheets room service all right there's a tent over there but i know there's a zombie right there and i, I know that if you crouch you, you know to get away from zombies that's great but you're also crouched and being real slow someone's just going to shoot you there's one right there It would be great to get a gun though, early off. Am I cold? Oh man, I am cold. I need some clothes. Let me go around this way. There is a house up here. We can come back that way if we want. I see lots of houses over there. 
That was a weird bird noise there. I don't like that. All right, what do we got here? I already have a backpack. Someone must have dropped that. And here's a used bandage that someone dropped. So someone's been here recently. Which is not good. And there's their starter spawn pants. Great. I don't want that motorcycle helmet, even though it's probably better protection to save me. I don't like how it makes my vision not see. Oh, a shovel. Well, I guess I could fight with the shovel if I have to. Okay, military tents back that way. Oh, there's a whole building and stuff over that way. I guess that's the way Oliver's going. Okay, if you haven't seen any of the other series, I encourage you to go back and watch the story of Noah and the story of Sam. Noah takes place on Namask. Sam takes place on Livonia. And here we are with our main character, Oliver, on Deer Island. Pretty much feeling the way that I actually feel right now and scared to go to any of these places. This is a big town. There's lots of big buildings. I'm for sure going to die in this town. See if I can go to the outskirts of it. Um, oh, they do this. Um, one thing that's good about the server, they do start you with some food. They do give you a canteen. And um, it's unlimited. Uh, I put the water up. It's unlimited stamina. Like your stamina, you can keep running. Here's a deer stand. Let's find like a nice rifle. That would be wonderful. Well, clothes is good too. Oh, good cargo pants. That is much better than what I have. I just, I'm really leery about going to that big city. I don't know what to do. I'm so used to, like I said, this is definitely outside how I normally play. I normally play on lower populated servers and it's more about surviving the elements and surviving against the zombies and occasionally coming across people, but I don't think this one's gonna be that way. like it those are like apartments over there it just would be so nice to find a gun because you can at least scare other people off they might not mess with you now I'm now I'm a bandit oh let's get this helmet at least it doesn't obstruct my view gives me a little protection I look like evil Knievel Y'all know who Evil Knievel is? I guess that looks like a Evil Knievel helmet. He was pretty awesome. Look him up. Uh, I don't want that hat. I have a feeling I need protection. Just someone give me a gun. I think there would be a gun in that old bandit building there. Let's go look. Sometimes there can be rifles and stuff in here. Worn working boots. I have pristine. I don't know that I want working boots, do I? Come on, find a rifle.
Well, I found a mag. IJ. Now where's an IJ? There's a gun. I don't like being in the middle of this big old street like this. I do have unlimited stamina. There's some shotgun shells. If I don't get cornered, I can just run, I guess. Pretty much what uh, Oliver would do, he would run. I don't think there, there might be an IJ in that. You think there would be an IJ in that? <laughs> Duct tape. A bad insulated shirt. Come on, give me an IJ. I got a magazine for it. I don't think there's anything up in these apartments, right? I say that, and there's a nice shiny jacket. Oh my gosh, the problem with that jacket is it is going to keep me better insulated, but it also stands out so much. It's so shiny. Look at that. I do look like I'm ready for a motorcycle ride, though. Let's go steal a motorcycle. What's over that way? I don't want to go near that apartment. think help me think this is just not I don't want to be here it's not panning out do I try to go back to the military there's a bunch of nice water down there we've got to get a weapon somewhere Let's go back this way. All right, the story of Oliver begins. Have you ever played Deer Island? Let me know in the comments. If you played it, do you like it? Is it one of your favorite maps? I have played it just a few times. This is, man, this could be only the third time I've ever played Deer Island.
pitchfork. Is that a better weapon than a shovel? Yeah, Deer Island, uh, you can also, the way I understand it, is you can get on boats and you can go on the water too, which I've never done. Alright, here's some cabins next to the water. You think one of those would surely have a gun, right? There's a barn over there. We've got to find a gun here. Let's start over here. Oh, I'll take a hatchet. That's nice. Put the hatchet down here. Oh, I'm gonna put it in my inventory, then I can put it down here. I do like that hat, but I'm going to keep the helmet. All right, we're not finding no gun yet. We got a few houses to go down this way. I don't want that jacket. I will take glasses because that looks cool. Oliver wears glasses. All right. So what do I have left? This house here. And then that barn. What is in the back of that van? Got a flag? Definitely not building a base right now. There's never nothing up here in this little thing. Zombie. There's a whole nother... Oh, there's a ships and stuff over there, but I think I don't want to go to those ships. Shotgun, shotgun, come on! Nope. That's best installation. Is that... That's just as shiny as my other thing, isn't it? Keep me a little warmer, though. There's a zombie. anything you're useless you're useless to me all right this is not a good start I can't find a weapon a shooting weapon what is this a bunch of caravans is this like a circus city we're gonna find something in here right
What is a tire repair kit for as I, other than repairing tires? What I mean, I know that's a silly question. What I mean, does it do anything? What is that? Just a jacket. Does a tire repair kit do anything other than repair tires? Oh my gosh. Did I get a bleed? No? How did I not get a bleed out of all that? Did I look in this house already? Come on, all that fighting them zombies, I should have got a gun out of that. What was that? Well, a crowbar, that's probably better than a shovel. Don't you think? Oh my goodness. I, I'm apparently in the wrong place to find good loot or either someone's already been through here bat. I think a bat's better than a, than a pitchfork, right? So we got a bat and a crowbar. We got two blunt objects. Alright, I don't know where to go. Where does Oliver go? What is this place right here? look like garages right oh am I back where I don't want to be yeah I don't want to be in this place Zombie down there. It's not going to be no gun in those garages. Maybe we should head that way. There's something way up there. Is that a castle? A helmet. I have a helmet. Dead body. Dead body. Another dead body. I have decided this is the house that I do not want to be in. with two dead bodies in it. All right, so what do you do when you see two dead bodies? You run across the open field.
All right, which way do we go? I just, uh, what I really want to do and what Ollie really wants to do is just go up in those woods and hide. drink. I'm just not having any luck finding shotgun. Ooh, I do I will take that nice axe. I think I'll replace that's my number one melee. And I found two axes in a row. Two pristine axes. Can I just go dual double axe? Look at that. Tell me, Ollie's not ready for the apocalypse. We're going dual wood axe, splitting axe, and a crowbar in our hands. Dual wielding axes. just looks like I'm headed to the beach how's my hunger I'm yellow water yellow food yellow and I do have some food let's put the crowbar down for a minute let's eat some food as we walk down to the beach figure out where we might be at. I think I should be going away from the beach, not to the beach. Okay, there's some kind of factory way over there. Something on the top of the hill way over there. Gunshots back to my left. Considering that I have no actual gun. Uh, oh, now there's gun back to my right shoulder. Uh, let's just go this way. Hmm. 
Yep. I am lost. Be honest, though, I've been lost the whole time because I don't know this map at all. Yeah, more gunshots. They found guns. Why can't I find a gun? I don't think it's likely that I'm going to find a gun just laying out here in the woods, though. There's a road. There's a car. Okay. Let's go check out the car real quick. I don't need that. Let's get in the woods and then we'll approach this town. Or these houses. Not sure if it's a town or not. I sure do hear a lot of gunshots coming going the or coming from the way I am going. This is back over to where those boats are. Look. Yep, I'm closer to where the boats are. Are, and I'm not a hundred percent sure that I really want to be. Ah! Ah! Oh my goodness. A fresh spawn snuck up behind me while I was trying to figure out where I was. And now I'm dead. I thought I heard something behind me, but I was focusing on the... Oh my gosh. Hey, there's the boat. I just got killed over there. That little jerk. Maybe I should go over there and get him. Yeah, but I'm on the other side. It was way over there. I need to get luckier this time. Find a gun quicker. Well, there's my weapon. My talk button keeps getting stuck. I got stuck the last time. Having trouble with this button. Must be the keyboard. All right, Oliver. That didn't go good. You got snuck up behind. You had a better weapon than him, too. But this is why uh, we play to get better. You know, I never find anything when I come up to this little house. So I know you know why I come here. This house looks pretty trashed up, man. Take another 
helmet, even though it didn't help last time. this, but we'll hold on to it for now. Man, I had two good axes. <laughs> two good axes and I lost them. What is this place right here? It's just a barn. I don't think I ever find anything in these barns either. Uh oh, other than getting stuck. Oh my gosh, that's freaky. Look at that. That's too freaky. I don't like this place. Let's see if we can get eyes on anything here. I don't see anything. I think it's getting dark. I feel like I have to be a little quieter just where I can try to hear footsteps and stuff because Sometimes when you're walking or running, it's your own footsteps. But then in that case where I just got killed, I thought I heard somebody behind me. But then I was thinking, oh, it's my own footsteps. And it was not. Anything in these cars? Last time I looked for cars when uh, it didn't go good for me. A pair of boots. There's a house over there. More houses up that way. Let's run up this way. There's mm, another knife. Is it is it just harder to find guns on Deer Island, or do you have to go? You know how like uh, you have to get off the coast on Chinuris and stuff. You have to go a certain area to find guns. What is this down here? There's a pair of shoes. Worn running shoes. I have pristine athletic shoes.
All right. Do we think there's anything here? There is something that I do notice on Deer Island. It seems to be less zombies. Like, I've only seen a couple. Boots that I don't need. More boots. All right, we're going to run through these woods. I'm going to get in the woods and I'll eat something. All right, we're going to run through these woods not knowing where the other side leads to and we'll see how we do finish the spaghetti okay spaghetti's all gone see what this is over here uh, I see a house a shed and an outhouse Sharpened stones, I like that. Oh my gosh, what is that? <gasps> it's a Mosin and it's pristine. I have no ammo for it. The Mosin 76 by 4 Well, I can always, like, bring it out and scare people. we got to find some ammo for this. I'll take those chips. But I would really like some ammo. can't believe we found a Mosin. All right, let's get back up to these woods and go across this way. Thing down that way. Nope, I'm gonna go up. Up the hill and then over. Okay, gunshots are to my left. There's some houses down there. Let's see what's through here. I 
I don't have no scope though, right? Yeah, no scope. getting dark. It's hard enough to play when it's not dark. That is a flag. Is that someone's base over there? Is that flag part of the building? Yep, there's a base right there. Crud. We'll take those gloves. All right, there's a base there, a base where I'm at. Is there a base right here? Bullets, bullets, any bullets? I can't see anything. Okay, so it has gotten way too dark. So we're gonna go over here, just in these trees. We've got a Mosin. Unfortunately, we did die. But that's to be expected. All right, so Oliver's gonna Log off here, episode one, trying to survive Deer Island. Got us a pickaxe and a Mosin with no ammo. And uh, we'll pick it up in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and get notified.